Hey YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Uh, today I wanted to show you a little trick on how you can drive a copper rod into the ground, a grounding rod, uh, into the ground without using a mallet or a sledgehammer or anything to pound it in. This is a, a hydraulic drill that I, that I built. Uh, basically this um, pipe is, I forget what the diameter is, but it's roughly 5 eighths or 3 quarters um, metal tubing that you can get in any electrical aisle. It's meant for metal, metal conduit. Really cheap. It was like two or three bucks for a 10 foot um, section. And what you do is you get this little fitting. It's in the uh, garden hose aisle um, of your department store, your uh, hardware store. And it's got, uh, you can't see it because, and I couldn't get this out to show you, but there's some little barbs on it. it. It goes into about right here, and there's some little barbs in. It's so basically you put it in the hole, and it's a really snug fit. You've got to take a little piece of wood, put it on the end, and kind of pound it in with a little mallet. But once it's in there, it ain't coming out. I mean, I couldn't, I tried to get this thing off to show you what it looks like, but you'll just have to, you'll just have to imagine for yourself. But that's about a three, three and a half dollar part in the, the uh, lawn, the garden hose aisle. Um, meant for like repairing garden hose and you drive that in Basically what you do this is a 10 foot section So it's more than long enough for the typical 8 foot grounding rod is you attach a garden hose To the end and I can't do it because I need a hand for my camera But you attach this in here and when you turn on the hose you can use water pressure from your garden hose to basically bore out a hole in the ground and basically what you do and you may need a ladder to do this but you stand on a ladder you get the water going and it'll start gushing out the bottom there and you start you know pushing it up and down in the hole and every time you go down it'll go down about an inch so it takes a few minutes it'll take you about 15 minutes maybe to maybe last 10 minutes to bore a hole down uh, eight eight feet deep for the typical copper grounding rod, but this is a heck of a lot easier than pounding it in. Plus, I've read that pounding it in with a with a mallet or a sledgehammer will will remove the um, the copper coating off of the ground rod and make it basically useless. Um, so, anyway, just a little uh, trick to do that. It, it sure saved a lot of work. It was very easy, and it only cost me about six bucks plus tax. So. Thanks for watching.